So amazingly, there is a place called the White Shark Cafe, where sharks are known to meet up and have a coffee with their friends. Only joking. But there is such a place called the White Shark Cafe. It is in fact an area of ocean halfway between Baja California and Hawaii and was discovered by researchers after six adult sharks were tagged in 1999 off the coast of central California. These amazing animals were tagged for 0.5 to 6 months and the tags collected pressure, temperature and light levels at two minute intervals and at a pre-programmed date the tags detached and transmitted the stored data via satellite. All the sharks, which were male, initially stayed in the vicinity of the shore of California, spending most of their time between the surface and a depth of 30 meters. After a period of time, four of these sharks were observed to move southwestward, with one ending up in Hawaii. The other three hung around what is now known as the White Shark Cafe, before the tags detached. The area, which is about a thousand miles off the coast of central California and has a radius of about 250 kilometers, is centered upon 23.37 degrees north and 132.71 degrees west. It is the closest corner of the North Pacific subtropical gyre to North America. The three sharks were observed to spend 90% of their time at either 0 to 5 meters depth or 300 to 500 meters depth. What is a real mystery is why the sharks should be going to this area. Satellite data showed that there is very little life there, so not much to eat for the sharks. Perhaps they were going to find mates. No one really knew. Since then, more research has been carried out on the great white sharks to try to find out what they are doing at the White Shark Cafe. Most notably, an expedition aboard the research vessel Falcor went there in April 2018. The previous autumn, over 30 great white sharks were tagged more than ever before, and the tags were programmed to be released from the shark while the ship was there. Once at the surface, the tags gave off a signal and were retrieved by the researchers. The tags recorded temperature, pressure, light and time, and so much data was collected, it doubled the 20-year data set they had in just three weeks. Once again, the tags recorded the deep diving depths. The dives have a V-shape, with the sharks not spending a great deal of time down there. But the males and females have different diving profiles, something not observed before. The males move up and down rapidly, up to 120 times a day, while the females will go up to the shallow water at night, then down much deeper in the day. The scientists are still not completely clear as to why they are doing this, whether it is a courtship behaviour or a feeding or foraging behaviour, and it is going to take time to analyse all the data to find the answer. But they have discovered that the waters below the surface are not as devoid as life as first thought. There is a layer of nutrient-rich plant life in the ocean that is deeper than satellites can detect. This phytoplankton is fed upon by zooplankton, which in turn feeds fish and other marine life further up the food chain. In fact, the scientists observed fish, squid, crustaceans and jellyfish in the waters, concluding that there was adequate food for the sharks. This unique area has been identified as a potential World Heritage Site, and all the data gathered will help support the case put forward for this. I look forward to reading the scientific papers which will come from this data set and hope that some light is shed upon the mystery of the great white sharks and their cafe and strengthen the case to protect this unique area. If you enjoyed this video, then please like, subscribe and share with your like-minded friends.